Cops have been known to take their duties too far in some cases. But what happens when an educated citizen knows their rights better than a cop? Here are idiot cops got outsmarted by educated citizens. Gentlemen, how you doing tonight? Great. What you got there, man? What do you mean? Uh, what kind of beverage is that? What Looks is like it, a Pepsi. <laughs> huh? Stay your distance, please. Stay your distance? Yeah, I don't want two guys with guns coming up on me. Oh, we're police officers. Maybe you didn't notice. I don't notice. care whether you're police officers or the mafia. The mafia? Yeah, you guys are rolling around and crumbing up on me with guns. Back up. Yeah. We're police officers. We're here to serve and protect, yeah. sir. So so to protect you're trying was, to... There's a lot of students here drinking, so I don't... we just want to make sure that... No you know, inquiry just, needed. So, yeah, well, our job is to make sure the community's safe. And That's some people Gestapo are stuff when you out, stop uh, for everybody holding and... a can anywhere. Not everybody holding a can anywhere. Just me? No, just people that we feel might be drinking in public. So we're checking. Do you to make suspect sure you're okay. I might be drinking in public? We have no idea. We don't know what the. That's so why you we're do asking. not suspect that I might be drinking in public. Show us what kind we of. We have what is a reasonable suspect? suspicion. That's what I'm asking. Do you suspect? You said we have no. what's called a reasonable suspicion. Do you have a reasonable suspicion? Yeah, we do. What we're is that? A can. I'm holding so we're a can. to investigate. That's your reasonable. That's not suspicion. reasonable suspicion for drinking. Holding a can Alcohol. is a reasonable suspicion. Yeah. So anybody holding a can. Is under reasonable suspicion. suspicion. Well, typically, we like to see the can. Officers Scott and Avila pulled over and started questioning a man whose only suspicious behavior was holding a beverage, specifically a Pepsi. The man responded defensively and expressed discomfort at the officers approaching him with guns. Officer Scott clarified they were police officers, but the man remained wary and questioned their actions, likening them to the mafia. The officers soon explained they were checking for public drinking, leading to a debate about what constitutes reasonable suspicion for such checks. The man challenged the officer's reasoning, highlighting his skepticism about being singled out based solely on holding a soft drink, a Pepsi. The officers demanded to see the can as part of their justification for their suspicions. See, we can see if it's an actual soft drink or this may not be typical. Beverage. Do I look in vibe on beverages in public, Officer Scott? I don't know. May I have your card, please? You'd have to come get it, and you want me to get close to you. Do Will you, you want please me to hand me your card? I am requesting okay. it. Let me see if Clearly. I can do this from a distance. Do I need to articulate? This close you want me to set it down and then you can grab it? Would that be better so I don't get too close? Officer Avila, yeah. may I have your card, please? Excellent. Officer Avila has no problem being professional with the business card. You, you Anything else that you, you gentlemen need besides Gestapo stops for cans? Gestapo? Yeah, it's Gestapo when you're going to stop me for a can on the sidewalk. That's Actually, sick. We were standing here. We didn't stop you. We just came up to talk to you. Oh, okay. Later. See you. Have a good night. Take care. Yeah. When the officers demand to inspect his drink, the man demonstrates a clear understanding of his rights, refusing to be intimidated by the officers. This assertive behavior proved that the man was in control of the situation and won't be bullied by the officers over something as trivial as drinking a can of Pepsi. It is soon clear that the officers are taken aback by the man's knowledge and confidence in asserting his rights. In the end, the officers, realizing they've encountered someone well-versed in their rights, back away, acknowledging that they've been put in their place. However, the man in the next case takes his interactions and putting authorities in their place to the next level. I'm good right here. Are you pulling me over or both of us? <laughs> I'm fine right here. You're not pulling me over, right? Are you pulling me over? You and them both, you're both going Why? 87, 85 miles an hour. No, we're not. I got my cruise on. You're on camera too. Okay. So. Driver's license and registration, please. <laughs> you're lying. But you're pulling him over, right? You and him both. You just told me you were pulling him over, so. Yeah, well, he was going 87, you were going 85. No, so I got my cruise on. I tell you to. I got my cruise you on. Give me your driver's license and your registration and insurance. Well, you got to give me a minute for the registration, but here's my license. And you realize that, how, how can you see my speed when he's right in front of me? You're following him. So yeah. here's what I did. I had my front radar uh -huh. on him. He was going 87. As soon as he passed, it went to 85 on you. I'd never stopped the radar. Uh -huh. 
That's the way it is. Do you have a, a print out of that? Now, or when I make a traffic stop, that? if you don't do as I say by pointing to the front of him, as you by say, being behind is that me, lawful? I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make is that sure a lawful I have, order? Yeah, it is, because it's that? officer safety. You're obstructing officer my traffic stop. Officer safety is not a lie. So, I want you to pull the front officer of him so that you're not, not behind me. Quote me the so code that I can for make that. sure that I... Can you quote me the, lo the law for that? The code? I'm not going to pull you the law for that. Then there, there is, is no law for that. Order. It is a law for order. There's got to be a, a code for it. Stop. There has to be a code 100. for it. For officer safety, there is no code. I don't care. Just like there's no code why, for public why, safety. Why is it What's that you won't do what I tell you to? I'm with him, okay? It's not safe for me to just pull up ahead. I, when, I don't when exactly go to the I'm front of people's already vehicles pulled because over. if you had a gun or something like that, you could always... <laughs> What are you so scared of? What do you mean, what am I scared of? That's the way we, we maintain you, you our officers. You think everybody's safety. out to get you? That is the way we maintain what our do you guys always think? I don't know who you are. I don't know Your where you're coming from. Your officer safety issue is ridiculous. You huh? realize that? You guys have like one you're of the least, because you least dangerous jobs. You just won't cooperate. I don't have to cooperate because you didn't pull me over. You pulled hey, him over. Where's your registration and insurance? work truck so you're gonna bear with me here I don't know why you gotta get so mad about it because really it's just I'm with him we're on a road trip delivering these two trucks so what's the problem with me just sitting back, back here waiting for you to do what's your the job problem with me asking you to pull to the front with him it's not it's really it's not safe for me to do you that just don't want to do it when I'm straight. already pulled so, over that's just that's the issue you just don't no, want to do it because I it's ridiculous there's no reason for it when I'm already pulled over you're I mean, mad because you, are you, are you are that scared over because I pulled your friend over no that's you're mad because you got to be you, you think you need to be scared when you're the I'm one with the guns scared. that is how we maintain our officer safety if I if I do all my traffic stops in every different way possible officer safety is officer officer cowardice is it officer cowardice yes it is no. have because you ever been you don't as a police officer my job is more dangerous you than your been? job is it yes i well, climb I don't even towers know who you are or what you do so i climb cell I towers verify that are you, where's are your you... registration and insurance i don't know you're gonna have to give me some time it's a work truck so it's not my personal truck Registration. There's a insurance. Stand by. You kidding me? That's him. On July 23rd, 2021, a man recorded a traffic stop on the Nevada Highway conducted by Trooper Boyer of the Nevada Highway Patrol. The trooper had pulled over the man's co-worker whose vehicle he had been following. The man pulled over behind the trooper's vehicle to wait for the traffic stop to conclude so they could continue their journey. However, things took an unexpected turn as Trooper Boyer attempted to assert his authority during the stop. The interaction began with the man questioning whether he was also being pulled over, alongside his companion, who was accused of speeding at 87 miles per hour. The man denied the accusation, stating that he had his cruise control on. Trooper Boyer insisted on seeing his driver's license and registration, leading to a debate about the legality of the stop and the officer's instructions. Do 
got a supervisor? One second. Um, do you? Hey, I actually, is your body cam rolling? Body camera is on. Okay, what's your badge number and your name? I give that all to I you. I'm on a card. You. No, I'm you, can, give it, you can verbalize it. I'm gonna give it to it's you. It's a lie. You, you're supposed to verbalize it. I'm gonna give it. Can I'm you verbally give you identify yourself? All I have to do is provide it to you. That's verbally. All I have to do. Verbally. I'm gonna explain your citation Someone to you. Someone that has vision problems. Your violation. Do you have vision problems? Anybody that has vision vision problems is the reason why you're supposed to verbally identify. Do you have vision problems? It doesn't matter if I do or not. Okay. It's for anybody. Well, I don't know about that. You know that. Anyway, I'm gonna give you this. Your violation is there. That's your total. What's the, the violation? Justice Court. Your violation is for speed. Oh, We're going what? 85 and a 70. Oh. I'm going to give you a violation citation for okay, what's your 80 name? and a 70. What's it's your name and badge number? right down here. What's your name and, and badge and number? number? Are right you going to fail to identify? I'm not going to fail to identify. So identify. I'm providing you the information Identify, to please. You. Verbally. Now the Wells Justice Court, the phone number's right there. And verbally I it identify, this please. I gave it till this day. Otherwise, you're not a cop. Citation. If you don't verbally identify, I'm you're not a cop. I gave your options and your instructions on how to pay out a contest. Uh -huh. Whatever you choose. My Who, information is down here. Who's your supervising here. officer? Huh? Who's your supervisor? My information is down here. I'm providing that information to who's you. Who's your There's supervisor? Your Have a safe day. Yeah. During the interaction, Trooper Boyer comes across as embarrassingly rude and condescending. He appears to want to assert his power based on his badge and gun but he meets his match in the man who is well-educated and aware of his rights. The man refuses to be intimidated and insists on proper procedures such as verbal identification. What's your name and badge number? I need you guys to verbally identify. We're not gonna play these stupid games. Either that or give me your card, both of you. It's not, a it's not a request, it's a demand. I need your name and badge number or your card. That's your job. You guys just not like following the law? You're out here trying to enforce laws and you're not even gonna follow the law yourself? You're not following the law. You're not verbally identifying yourselves. By not doing that, you're not cops. You realize that? Not verbally. Yes, it's a huge problem in this whole country. You know that. Don't play dumb. You're gonna play? Yes, you are playing dumb. Look at your condescending look. You're condescending. I'm not condescending. I'm demanding your ID. Verbally. For anybody that might have vision problems. That's the reason for it. You know that. Gonna fail to ID both of you. Thank you. Okay. What's your badge number? Three seventy one. Thank you. How about you? Sorry. Boyer. 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 And what was the number again? Four four three. Okay. Why was that so hard? I didn't have to. No, I didn't. Was it a lawful order? If it was, quote me the law. Quote me the law. Quote me the law. You didn't pull me over, you pulled him over. No, it's not. Obstructing is a physical act. A physical act, not verbal. Don't play dumb. Really, you can let go of your ego. It makes things run a lot smoother. If you're, you know, if you're courteous, I'll be courteous back to you. If you're an I'm gonna be an right back to you. There ain't no law against that, and you know it. That's the First Amendment. You guys got a supervisor? Yeah, What's his name? Supervisor's name and phone number right there. Okay, can you, uh, how long would it take him to get here? He's not working today. Yep. I guarantee it. So who, I can who's, get another who's, supervisor that comes all the way your supervisor Malcolm. right now that's, that is working? He is my supervisor for this district. Put his name I can on get it. you another Who is working right now? Elko. Can I talk? Who is working right now? I can get you another right sergeant from Elko. Can you answer Elko. the question? You're, you're my servant. I'm not your servant. You understand that? That's how it works. That's how the law second, works. I'm going to get you another one. How about you just call him out here? Because this is ridiculous. An hour and a half. There's cops getting fired all over the country for this kind of 
losing your pensions, losing your job, even going to jail. Qualified immunity is going away. You realize that? I mean, if, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure isn't it already gone in Nevada? You guys are out here acting like you're the boss of the road, but you're not. You're public servants. Law enforcement, not feelings enforcement. Your feeling about me being in your way when I wasn't is your your problem, not mine. I don't have to move just because you don't like me there. I mean, if I'm wrong, quote me the law, the code. And that you you can't do that tells me that I'm right and you're full of No, I'm just trying to get you to give me a straight answer. And you don't want to do that. You want me to quote me the law? Yeah, quote me the law that tells me I have to move. The interaction between Trooper Boyer and the man shows a clear clash over how things should be done and who's accountable. The man keeps pushing Trooper Boyer, questioning if his commands are even legal and asking for the specific laws that say he has to follow. He's basically saying, prove to me that what you're asking for is legit, showing he knows his rights and what's expected from law enforcement. You won't believe how this 19-year-old law student owns campus police in the next video. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can help you. Is there anyone else in here? Uh, no, it's just me. Okay. You mind just opening the door? That way I can see. Uh, you trying to... What are you trying to look for? I just want to make sure there's no one else in there. Well, sorry, and then I'll talk to you at well, no, There's no one in there right now. Okay. All right. Come out here and talk to me, though. Yeah. So I'm going to be honest with you. So we got a report that um, you were seen walking into your dorm with alcohol. So okay. Is there alcohol in there? Uh, I don't answer questions. What's your name and your badge number? Officer Pirtle, NMSU Police. Title and name? Radio Security Officer. Oh, Security Officer, okay. Okay. You have an ID with you? Uh, I do. Okay, can I see it? Uh, you suspect me of a crime? I do. Okay, what crime and how can you articulate it? Minor in possession of alcohol. We got a report that you were walked in. So it's like no. here that they say, they said thing? Okay. It's a, yeah, right? It's like they said that he has. And that that's how you're going to articulate it. So we don't have to go down this route. If you wanna, if you wanna go down this route, we can. Well, I really don't. But like, you're, I'm studying right now. I'm doing okay. homework. You can knock on my door. I'm out here. I wanna know what's on. You say that they, they said that there's alcohol in this room. Okay. Oh, they, they saw me yeah. going into this room, and that there's alcohol in there. How can you articulate it though? Okay. So that's why I'm here talking to you. Yeah. Okay. So I still need to ID you. Uh, no. And then we need to go from there. You have to, or you have to suspect me of a crime. I, I do. You, you're, you realize that uh, cops in New Mexico don't have qualified immunity, right? I do that. I do. Okay, that. so from from here on, just let's just be careful with the, what you are about to do right now. Okay. You're saying that you want my ID, but right now you're not. You or yourself can articulate a crime that I've committed. Okay. So. So I already explained to you why I'm here. Why okay, I need your I know, ID. I know what you're here, but okay, is my ID gonna tell you if there's alcohol in that room? No. But I still need to identify you. My name is Joel. Joel what? Joel. I need your first, last name, and your date of birth. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> if you don't want to provide that... You don't want to call Officer Donovan or one of your supervisors here? Yeah, that can get a sergeant over. All right, then like. calling him because right now, this is not what you want to do right now. Because okay. this is a violation of my Fourth Amendment. Okay. All right, let me, okay. let me get a sergeant over here, okay? Yeah. 202. Go ahead. Oh, I'm not, I'm yeah, that's my room. Oh, okay. You know, I just hang out out here then. Uh, is, is he detained? No, that's fine. I just don't want anyone that, else going in can, the room. You could go in then. If you're, if he's not detained, he's free to go. Yeah, he's free to go, but he can't go in the room. He can't? No, not at this time. All right. Just, just, just let it be, bro. Just they, someone so, called and said that they saw uh, or me walk in there with a case of beer, but that's all they have. So. So it, it's an investigation. I'm talking to him. He doesn't want to identify himself. So until we get this figured out, there's a sergeant on the way that's going to talk to him until this gets figured out. I don't want anyone to go in the room. You're, okay. you're free to go anywhere else. That's fine. You're not detained or anything, but that's what's going on. Uh, is anything going to happen if I don't identify myself? You can be arrested for concealing identity, yes. So, okay, so you, that's what you, I want you to say. If you don't ID to me right now, if I don't give you my ID, that you're going to arrest me. I want you to okay. give me that ultimatum. So... Just hold on. 
you want to wait? You said you wanted to wait to speak to a supervisor, so let's just do that. Okay, okay then. Okay, thank you. And keep your hands out of your pockets for me. <laughs> Officer Pirtle is looking into a report about alcohol being in a dorm room and goes to talk to a 19-year-old law student who's the main person suspected. The student asks why he's under investigation and won't talk without knowing the officer's name and badge number. Officer Pirtle explains that he thinks the student might have alcohol as a minor based on what was reported. The student questions this suspicion, saying there's no proof and asking for a clear explanation of what crime he's accused of. He also mentions qualified immunity, saying there needs to be a good reason before he gives his ID. Things get more intense until Officer Pirtle agrees to bring in a supervisor to sort things out further. Hi. Hi. Name and badge number, please. Sergeant John Lovelace. My badge number is 212. 212. All right. Thank you. Uh, officer said here that if I don't ID, I will be subject to arrest. Is that true? It's possible, yes. Uh, possible, yes or no? I need I need that ultimatum or else I won't get my ID. Okay, so technically right now, yes, you could be arrested. Could. I need a yes or no. Like, I need you to tell me if you don't give me your ID right now, I'm going to arrest you. Why, why would I say that to you? Because I need that ultimatum because right now you're asking. Yes. And I have the right to say no because you're asking. You're not. It's not a lawful order. Okay. I need you to so make it a lawful you're order. detained. For suspicion of minor um, in possession of alcohol, mm -hmm. we need to see your ID. Okay, and if not? And if not, you could be considered to could? explain identity. Because New Mexico statute says that concealing of identity is a secondary charge. I would have to have been arrested or suspected of a crime. No. Right now, you hear you just don't hearsay. Have to be arrested or suspected. You're being suspected of a having possession. On, on, what, on what grounds? Okay, so do you have any alcohol in your possession? I don't answer questions. On what grounds? Okay, so you don't have any alcohol in your oh, possession? God. On what grounds? I don't answer questions. No, I won't grab. Okay. Yeah, that's her room, bro. Nah, they serve. They're trying to go in, bro. They're trying to ID me and shit, but nah. Okay, so who are you talking to? I'm recording you. You're recording. You're, okay, you're very not involved good. at all. So if you want yeah, to hang out down there, you can. That's fine. Uh, so here's the deal. By saying uh, could, what we're trying to do is we're trying to be cooperative with you and have you be cooperative with us mm -hmm. and help us clear this matter up. Okay, I gave him my name, Joel. Okay. What's your last name? You don't need my last name and you do not need my date of birth unless you want to run me for unless you want to run my name through your system. Do you have, Are you trying to run my name through the do you system? Have warrants for your arrest? Is Are you, I don't answer questions. Concerned? I don't answer questions. I'm you asking questions. questions. I don't. It's my Fifth Amendment. Is it or is it not? Okay. So the question is, is that like the officer told you, you're being suspected of having possession of alcohol underage. So in that case, the easiest way to prevent this is for you to let us know. Either you had, you got somebody saw you carry a case of beer. You have a case of beer in your possession. I don't answer questions. Okay. All right. Um, so the other, the next, the next step in this process would be: Would you give us consent to check your room? Nope. To make sure that nope. you have no alcohol in your possession. Nope. I do not consent to any searches nor seizures. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, this is completely up to you how you want to play this. You could get a warrant. Or you could. So. Or you, you have probable right costs. Now, Go right ahead. Right now we do have reasonable suspicion that possibly a crime had been committed. Mm -hmm. We're trying to investigate that. Mm -hmm. You are certainly welcome to refuse if you wish. I know. But we need to ID you. Or. And if we do not, if you do not present your identification, you can face a non-traffic citation. You're saying could. I need because you to I'm say you will. You the, I'm giving you the opportunity to. No, I need that ultimatum. I will give you my ID if you say that I'm going to go get arrested if I don't give it to you. So you'll give us if we say that? If you say that, yes, sir. Because that's already grounds for me to set up litigation against you. So you're threatening to sue us? I ain't threatening nothing, brother. That's what you just said. It's not a threat. It gives you grounds. To it's not a threat. It gives me grounds. Does it or does it not? I don't answer questions. Okay, so the easiest and simplest solution to this is for you to tell us your name, date of birth. Joel. Joel what? Joel. Okay, by just saying Joel, there's a thousand Joels. I need a last name mm -hmm. and a date of birth. For what? You're going to run? I told you, you want my name. For the report, I need to have your name and date you of birth. Could, I didn't even have to give you my first name for that report. You could literally put the citizen or the or the guy or the suspect. Yes, you it can. It work like that. Yes, it does. I'm a law student here. You're not going to come over here and try to violate my rights. So I'm not trying to violate your rights. I'm trying to be cooperative with you and you be cooperative okay, I'm with us. Okay, cooperate with me and accept that I'm not going to give my ID unless I'm going to I'm gonna get arrested. 
say it and I'll give you my ID. Just say, if you don't give me your ID, I'm going to arrest you. So you want us to threaten you? you. Want us to yes, threaten I want you to give me that ultimatum if you really want the ID. Threaten you. That's not how this is important. Why? Because you know you can't. You know you don't have that ultimatum. You know you can't because you know that opens up for litigation. And to make this clear, I'm detained right now, right? Correct. Thank you. You have to stay over here. Uh, no, I can't. You, you, I'm in no, your view. I'm telling you, you need to stay <laughs> over here. Just keep recording, Sean. Right. Don't let him intimidate you. <laughs> Sergeant Lovelace, the supervisor, arrives to address the situation. The 19-year-old student asks for his name and badge number, which Sergeant Lovelace provides. The student then asks if he'll be arrested for not providing ID, wanting a clear answer before cooperating. Sergeant Lovelace confirms that not providing ID could lead to arrest. The student insists on a direct ultimatum before complying. Sergeant Lovelace then explains the suspicion of minor alcohol possession and the need for ID. The student continues to question the grounds for suspicion and refuses to answer certain questions. The situation becomes more tense as the student insists on a clear ultimatum before cooperating. <laughs> oh, let me take my hand on my pocket. Thank you. I There's two guys that. right here with Glocks and scared of a scared of a 19 year old with the phone, bro. Well, I'm not scared of a 19 year old with the phone. I have. No. Come on, man, don't do that. Okay. No, no, no. no. Seriously, anyway, that's just that's just. Pocket. Be... Do you see something in my pocket? Okay. Well, we would like for you to do that for us, just to be cooperative. Oh, okay? just to be so... cooperative, like just on, like for you to don't... say what you want me to do. Are you googling the laws right now? Because yeah. that's really what you should be doing right now. I right, you okay with that? Yeah. Continue. Reading Are you discussion. sure you're okay with that? Yeah. I give you permission. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's okay. I appreciate it. Okay, so. Sure. You have a class at the end of it? Okay, so here's why we need your name and date of birth. I'm going to read you the law because you are a law student, okay? Uh, Sean, can, can According you to New Mexico, being... it's all being recorded. Yeah, I know, but my those body are cameras hard to running. Get. So I'm going I'm to use my, my own. So phone. concealing identity consists of concealing one's true name or identity or disguising oneself with the intent to obstruct the due execution of the law. Am I obstructing? Or, yes, technically you are, with the intent to intimidate, hinder, or interrupt any public officer. Mm -hmm or any person in illegal performance of his duties or exercise of his rights under the law of the United States. Okay, so your investigation is investigating okay. that I'm in possession of alcohol, right? That's exactly okay, what we said. Okay, and if I don't give you, if I give you my ID, is that going to tell you if I do or do not have alcohol in that room? If or is you, it just a way if you to deny, find me with something? No, the ID is so that we can identify who we are talking to. If you wish to deny us access to that room, that is totally within your rights. I know. But you refusing to identify yourself I to know. us by name, and date, date of birth, birth. Yeah. full name, mm -hmm. date of birth, mm -hmm. that is concealing identity. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so just tell me so that if I don't give you the ID, you're going to arrest me. Just okay. say it. Show us your ID. We need to see your ID. Or, or you will be arrested. Thank you. you got that, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got that. <laughs> Pigs, fool, for real. Why do you use that term? Because why the f are you searching my leg? We're not searching no. Yes, that's a that's Go a that's a seize of my identification. Is it or is it not? It's not a seizure. We just it's a seizure of my identification. Yes or no? We just need to see who you are in order to I go told you my the name? investigation. I told you my name. Today I didn't. Your legal name. My name. Gave us your first name. What is my Joel? Not the legal name or what? Joel what? <laughs> he has my ID. Go look at it. Perfect. That's all we yeah. needed. Thank you. That's all we needed. Mm-hmm. Let's go down here real quick, please. Am I able to go in my room? No, not yet. Just hold up for just a minute, please, guys. Okay, so he's denying us for your consent to search. That's, no, that's fine. fine. But yeah. we have him ID'd, so we're yeah. going to take or make sure we take a report. Yep. And then, um, so basically we got called someone that suspected him of having alcohol in his dorm room, carrying a case of beer in. Okay. He's 19 years old. Um, we will take a case report on it. Okay. Um, there will be a case number drawn. Pretty much, basically, he's pushing the issue on the concealing identity. But now that we've now that we've negated that, we don't have to do any more. Uh, we will take a report just to document the answer. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
Any questions? Uh, just the report number. Yeah, we'll get that here. Get it, we'll get that here in just a minute. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, Joel. Yeah, yeah. Go Done. Yourselves. Okay. Have a you guys can go to your room. Now. Thank you. If we really wanted to push the issue, we could stop and lock the room down and get a, get a search warrant. Um, but we have an anonymous complaint, so it's really kind of really kind of one of those things that's up in the air. We don't want to we don't want to do that. Hey, I appreciate you though. You're a professional. Thanks a lot for that. Thanks. He questions if Sergeant Lovelace is looking up laws online and eventually gives permission for that. Sergeant Lovelace then explains the legal definition of concealing identity and the purpose of asking for the student's ID. The student insists on a direct ultimatum before complying, and Sergeant Lovelace provides it, leading to the student reluctantly giving his ID. Hey, bro. Hi. Oh, no, it's not right here. <laughs> yeah, okay, just, just listening. Two zero. Yeah, you're listening? Mm -hmm. All right, anything else I can help you guys with? We, we no, there. So you're just going to stand around and get paid? Yeah, sure. You're just going to stand around and get paid, brother? Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I think we can just prove some braces. I'm going to get complaints on both of your asses. Okay. And Chief Donovan is going to know about the because he knows who I am. Chief Donovan knows Chief you. Chief Donovan knows who I am. Okay, very good. All right. Damn. <laughs> I appreciate that it. Fucked up for real. Have a nice day. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm, did you I'm, find anything I'm, with that ID, brother? Did you find out if there's alcohol in here or not with that ID? Nah. So you you denied point. us consent, so that's fine. I didn't like give like you consent. You could, exactly. You could, you so you could, we're not gonna we're not gonna argue with you. Have a nice day. Get the out of here. Well, this is actually a common area, so we're allowed to be. Go work. I pay you for something. Get out of here. Yes, I pay you for something. Out of here, cause you got my ID for no reason, brother. Oh, okay. Get the out of here. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. The conversation takes a confrontational turn as the student accuses the officers of racism and threatens to file complaints. Despite attempts to defuse the situation, the exchange ends with heated words from the student, expressing frustration over the ID check and demanding the officers leave. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.